talk to me more about like fitness. Yeah. Because I think that, believe it or not, it plays a lot more into creativity than I think a lot of people realize. Mm. Well, before I give my answer, what's your answer to that? Why do you think it gives more creativity? I think it brings clarity. And yeah. I think there's a lot of reasons for that. Mm -hmm. I think one of them is actually being off your devices or being away from like stimuli. Um, because for me, big, big like nature guy. So like yeah. when I go on runs or walks, if I have the opportunity, I go in like nature where it just feels like you are actually disconnecting. Yeah. And I think for a lot of like photo video creators, a lot of the time we're so locked up in our like editing caves, even yeah. if it's, you know, six to eight hours a day or even like late into the night because you got to get the project done or whatever. Yeah. Um, so the, the word I would use is clarity and, and I think it just gets the distractions out of your life. Yeah. Um, I think also in the like creative process, it's just truly something you need, uh, in the same way that like you have shower thoughts, I think you can have like workout thoughts. Oh, so. for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely a such thing as a runner's high. Yeah. Um, no, I think for me, um, on the fitness conversation, so I'm a very like boring person and let me explain that so it's not just fitness that like helps with creativity for me um my diet is super strict i eat the same thing every single day which is a pound of ground beef and maybe some quinoa and vegetables for lunch and dinner i intermittent fast every day and then i have like the same beverages which is like coffee in the morning and then water okay and then can't forget keep it going you can't forget the banana and peanut butter to wrap that's, up the that's evening. a good combo yes that is the best combo um and i'm fine eating that every single day yeah um and then my like i literally wear black all the time yeah and like i don't put too much thought into like what I'm wearing ever. Yeah. Um, the Steve Jobs, like minimalist, less yeah. decisions kind of feel. Yeah. I mean, there's other reasons, but especially for like the clothing, I feel like for me too. And so basically like I'm trying to, on this clarity conversation, like I'm trying to take as much like decision making out of like my day to day routine yeah. to leave as much bandwidth available for the things that like I'm working towards and that are more, more important to me than like what flavors are on my food or like what I'm craving sure. or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like I've just like completely, yeah, kind of like simplified everything. And then on the workout thing, like I would, I grew up an athlete and working out every single day in high school, college, that kind of thing. And then you get to be an adult and you kind of taper off usually, usually. And you're like, oh man, I'm wondering why like I'm getting so stressed out. Like, oh yeah, maybe my life is a little bit different. I'm married now. I have kids now. I have a full time job. Maybe there's a, so much newness in your early 20s that like maybe that's what's stressing me out. But then I was like, you know what? Like I need to go. Like when I was my happiest, I was like working out. You know, yeah. often. And so it's like before I was on. Well, I was on anxiety meds for a little while, but then I got to the point where it's like I don't want to do that either. Have a I don't want to. I want to stay as, as natural as possible. Um, so like medicine's not something that I was an option for me anymore. And so, yeah, I was just like got back into a routine of working out five to six times a day. And like that's like changed everything. And like mm -hmm. it started obviously with, you know, podcasting. How, how else could I distract myself or learn something so I'm not like quote unquote wasting time? Yeah. But the clarity that you're talking about is when it's just you and the road or you and the the nice walk through the mountains or whatever. It's just like for you to just be with yourself, to hear nature, to hear your own thoughts uh, and just like kind of detox from like yeah. everything that's going on around you. And so now it's like I go to, a, I go to, I've changed my workout routine a little bit because of being a father, but <laughs> uh, now I go to a gym and like work out for an hour with the trainer three times a week. And then I also run, you know, two times or whatever a week. And like those times are just completely like disconnected. It's just me yeah. fighting me. And like that just offers so much like clarity to myself. And I think too, like that has to do with who humans were like built to be. Like, right. I don't want to throw Adam and Eve in, into this, but <laughs> was Adam and Eve like sitting on their computer swiping Instagram 24 seven or were they out like trying to figure out how to feed themselves for the day? Yeah. And how much physical endurance was involved before we had like all of this stuff. Right. And, you know, I I'm not suggesting we all go back to living cavemen lives, but 
we got to move our bodies. We need to put ourselves under some form of stress. I'm not talking about working overtime. Like you know, your body is built to like be under um, a large amount of stress. And so if you're able to do that, then your body's able to create the necess necessary chemicals it needs to feed your creativity, your positivity, your overall outlook on life. And I think honestly, if you work out, you're a better person. Oh, hundred percent. I also I, get rid of soda, please. Oh, dude. I mean, I don't like soda, so I'm already like kind of pre-qualified for that. But yeah, that yeah. like sugars and all that stuff. That's oh, yeah. a whole other conversation. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll eliminate touch, stuff. One yeah. thing I'll touch on before we have to wrap this up is yeah, on the food topic. Definitely, if you're you have a partner or you live with someone, you know, not everyone sees sees n not everyone just wants to eat chicken and rice every day. Sometimes sure. there's some compromises. So our deal is there's no soda, no other drinks except for water in the house. And um, but then if we go out for dinner and I like grab a drink or a beer or whatever, then she's allowed to have a soda. That's Fair, the, that's yeah. the contract. Dude, that's so that's all, good, though. But, you know, at the end of the day, life's all about compromises. And I love I love to indulge every once yeah. in a while. But, I, and that's I mean, that's natural. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, discipline equals freedom. And that's kind of <sighs> like my that's my uh, biggest life lesson in my 20s was just like, yeah, giving yourself some some rails and sticking to those Ooh, come sticking on. sticking to that path yeah yeah i think too with the clarity aspect and honestly mic drop after that but mm -hmm. here i am chiming in uh, the clarity it. like you versus you yeah. actually makes you a better person and yeah. when you don't have that when you're on autopilot thinking about what's next and you aren't challenging yourself or aren't asking your the you know the question of did i treat that person right in this conversation mm -hmm. and like you you don't have that like one-on-one -on -one time debrief with yourself on like the way home from a hangout with a friend or whatever. Yeah. You just like immediately put on a podcast or listen to your favorite song or whatever, watch a YouTube video and just constantly stimulating yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like, when do you ever have time to like sharpen your own brain? Yeah. Even if it is like a, a motivational speaker speaking life into your life on a podcast, it's like, did Austin say that or did you know, Gary Vee say that. And yeah. there's some like discernment that you have to do with, with all of that, that a lot of people don't spend time with themselves anymore. And I think that's a detriment. Sure. Yeah. Every, every morning for like the last two years, I film a video journal on the way to work and it's sometimes it's two minutes, sometimes it's 10 minutes. That's probably why I have no storage on my phone, <laughs> but it's just like me talking to me slash praying. And, um, yeah, looking back at like what I was sounding like and what I was talking about and cared about two years ago versus now is insane. But like, there's also a lot of value in just like having that, you know, time with yourself, talk to yourself, whatever you got to do. But yeah, it's you against you at the end of the day. Mm. So did you, in, in, in those uh, journals, did you have any like goals for creativity that made it into to real life uh, nowadays? Uh, yeah. I mean, I've, some something I'm always praying about is just to be content and um, yeah, and not not trying to get too far ahead of myself and where I'm at in life and understanding that things take time. So that's a consistent theme all the time, especially in the morning when you wake up and your brain starts to go a million miles a minute with everything that you could be doing that day. You really got to just like slow down and remind yourself that like, you know, things happen brick by brick and uh yeah, it'll happen as long as you, yeah, focus and put your head down. So, 